Tonight, lawmakers and citizens alike are demanding answers from the president after classified documents were found in an office space he used before the election. The papers and questions are from Biden's time serving as vice president. Thanks for sticking with us at 530. I'm Andrew Kinsey. And I'm Yolanda Harris. The Justice Department is now launching a review and CBS correspondent Deborah Alfaron is digging into the details tonight. During the North American Leaders Summit Tuesday, President Biden did not respond to questions about documents marked classified that were found in an office he used before he was president. The roughly 10 documents were discovered early November while the president's personal lawyers were packing up the office. The White House Counsel's Office says it immediately reported the documents to the National Archives, which took possession of them the following day. It happened about three months after the FBI executed a search warrant at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home for classified documents. He had refused to comply with repeated requests to return the material. I wonder why the press isn't asking the same questions of him as vice president taking classified documents that they were asking President Trump. Republicans are questioning why the discovery of the Biden documents wasn't made public before the midterms. And now that they control the House of Representatives, they are vowing to investigate. We have a lot of questions for National Archives. They, they fall under the jurisdiction of the Oversight Committee. Attorney General Merrick Garland has assigned a Trump-appointed U.S. attorney in Chicago, John Lausch, to review the Biden documents. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill.